Well, we begin tonight with the state primary election in Rhode Island. The polls are closed, but we might have to wait a while to get the final results. Good evening, I'm Shannon Heggie. And I'm Mike Montecalvo. Mail ballots could lead to a delay in counting the final numbers. We'll have more on that in just a minute. But first, the latest results from the Cranston mayoral race on the Democratic side. Maria Bucci and Steven Stikos here and comedian and actor Adam Carbone. And you can see the numbers. Remember, these are the numbers from the people who voted today. Maria Bucci right now with 52% of the vote, Stikos with 44%, and Carbone with 4%. He said he ran to bring some levity and attention to the race. And on the Republican ticket, City Council President Michael Farina excuse me, has conceded to Councilman Kenneth Hopkins. You can see here Hopkins getting 75% of the vote to Farina's 25%. Again, this is in-person voting numbers. We're going to have to wait to see all of the mail-in ballot numbers. And, of course, we have team coverage for you tonight. 12 News Politics Editor Ted Nisi is standing by with analysis. And Sheena Loshuto has an update on the Democratic race for Cranston mayor. But first, let's send it out to Steph Machado with the latest on the Republicans who are trying to keep a member of the GOP in the mayoral office. Steph? Well, the power of Alan Fung appears to be... Uh, in full display tonight as Ken Hopkins declared victory here uh, outside St. Mary's Feast Society in Cranston. The party actually just went inside here. There was a large crowd outside as he made a victory speech a short time ago. You know, as it stands, he has 75% of the in-person ballots, and his team believes that he, they have an insurmountable lead over Mike Farina. Hopkins told me that Farina did text him that he conceded earlier tonight. Farina has not yet commented on the results, though he did tell me around 8.30 that his own party was canceled. Uh, Hopkins came out a short time ago. He was introduced by Mayor Alan Fung, who had, of course, endorsed him in this race. Fung himself term limited this year and put his full weight behind Republican Hopkins for the primary. Uh, we, we do not know yet how many Republican mail ballots have been returned here in Cranston, but again, the Hopkins team believes with 1,700 votes over Farina right now that they have an insurmountable lead. And here's what Hopkins said as he looks forward now to the November general election. Our opponent will represent a progressive liberal agenda on how to remake the city of Cranston. We do not have to remake Cranston. Cranston is one of the greatest cities in America to live in. We do not have to remake it. And on the Democratic side, a completely different story. The candidates with just uh, the top two candidates with a very small margin separating them now with, of course, all those mail ballots to count. So let's go over to my colleague, 12 News reporter Sheena Loshuto, on what's going on the Democratic side. Sheena? Yes, Steph, I'm actually only just up the street from you at Maria Bucci's party. Now, she is up right now. You guys broke down the numbers earlier in the show, but I just want to break them down even more. So she is up. With 52% of the vote, and Stephen Psychos is a little bit behind with 44% with of the vote. Now, that's only about 240, 240 votes, excuse me, separating the two. We just caught up with both of the candidates. They both tell us as of right now, it's just too tight and it's too early to celebrate. It's a lot of good energy, but we are waiting for tomorrow. Uh, we're hoping it trends the same way. I believe it will. Um, it's time for change, and I think the residents are ready. Oh, well, I don't know what to think, honestly. It's, uh, it's very close, and there are at least as many ballots that haven't been counted as have been counted. So uh, it's up in the air. I'm excited to see what happens tomorrow, and I really um, hope to be the next Democratic nominee and go to the general election. You never know until the votes are counted. Now, Bucci says she is feeling confident about how this is turning out. She's just eager to see the results. And Psycho said the same thing as well. He's just eager to see how this all plays out with those mail in ballots. The Board of Elections is hopeful to have those official results for us just in the next few days. We're live in Cranston. I'm Sheena Lushuto, 12 News.